Hi everybody and welcome to Guitar Excellence. In today's lesson we'll be looking at how to read tabs. Now tabs are the most simple form of music notation and it's a tool that we can use um, in order for us to learn how to play guitar um, especially at our beginner level. Now this example here is basically a skeleton of a tab. So there's nothing notated on the tab um, and there's nothing for us to look at. We're just going to look at the different parts and watch each part, what each part represents. So we can see here we have six horizontal lines. Now each one of those horizontal lines represents a string of your guitar. Six strings, six horizontal lines. And obviously that tab will be adjusted if you have a seven or eight string guitar. Just like bass tabs would therefore only have four lines because they only have four strings. Alright, now the first thing to notice or the first thing to point out is that tabs are upside down. Now this means that this bottom line here is actually the first accessible string to you on your guitar. So if you're holding your guitar in your lap, that thickest string at the top there is actually this bottom line on the tab here. So there's your low E string or the sixth string. So it goes in numerical order, obviously from thinnest string to thickest. So your thinnest string, which is your first string or the high E string, you then have your second string or your B string, your third string or the G string, your fourth string or the D string, your fifth string or the A string, and your sixth string, which is your low E string. All right, let's have a look at another example. Okay, so here we have another example of what a tab looks like. But in here you can see we've got some numbers placed on uh, some random lines here. Now the numbers represent the fret of your guitar. So the number one is asking you for the first fret. Now these numbers, which again represent your frets, are specifically placed on a particular line. Now that's just telling you that they want, for example, the first string on, or the first fret on your low E string. If I had to come here, I see the number 5 has been placed on first, second, on the third string, or your G string. So the fifth fret on the G string. This number 5 would then represent the fifth fret, and because it's placed on your first string, the fifth fret of your high E string. Now there are some downfalls to tablature whereas there is no rhythmical value added to these numbers. So there's nothing to tell me how long to hold that note or when to move to the next note. So we like to use a combination of normal tab as well as some slash notation. Let's have a look at an example. Here we have an example of a normal tab um, with some slash notation. So all this is doing is giving some rhythmic notation to um, these numbers on the tab. Um, if you don't already know your note values, um, we do have some theory lessons looking at that, so just make sure you understand. Um, and then you would know that this represents a quarter note, these represent eighth notes, and these represent 16th notes. Obviously there are more various um, different types of rhythms that we can work with, uh, but at this beginner level we're just working with quarters, eighths, and 16th notes. Alright, so now it's given a little bit more value to this tab, because now I know that I'm only holding the fifth fret of my low E string for a quarter note. The same with the eighth fret on my low E string is being held for a quarter note. Here we can see the 5th fret on the D string is now only being held for an 8th note, the same as the 7 on the D string. And then here we can see the 8th fret of the B string is only lasting for 1 16th note. So these uh, rhythmical values do 
give a lot more value to to your tab um, and just make things a lot easier for us to understand considering we are reading tab let's have a look at another example okay here we have another example of a tab now the first thing you'll notice is that all these notes are now stacked on top of each other as opposed to the previous examples where the numbers went from left to right now this simply means that we're going to play all of these notes at the same time so this is what a chord looks like when it's tabbed so the numbers still represent the frets um, and the only difference is we're playing them all at the same time so that three still represents the third fret of the low E we still on the second fret of the A string now a zero means you're going to play that string open same with the G the third fret of the B string and the third fret of the high E string so that's actually going to give you a G major chord alright and that's it for how to read tabs thanks for watching and don't forget to click the accompanying link for the notes we've attached to the video and until next time play hard